from there. Whenever he's a little bit further away, you can use your sword and also your, your quick back air as well, as well as these projectiles that he has. So, yeah, there's a lot on the table here, but I think the, the key in the matchup, like you were talking about earlier, is getting that Arsene up uh, from our friend on the Joker here. Yeah, it's going to be just key key factors at this point. Once again, Joker is pretty light as well. So because he's kind of light inherently, he's going to die to a link forward air much, much sooner than anybody else here. We're going to see Arsenic on the link and Hazard on the Joker from what I can see. And right now, Arsenic's plan is to try and get Hazard into the corner. Yeah, uh, Arsenic's the Joker. There. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm wrong. Uh, yeah, it's okay. I'm sorry. Switching around. No, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, it's it's, yeah. It's all right. We, the Smash players don't know how to handle overlays. That's true. No, not a production squad. Production's doing their, doing their best to, to co compute with, uh, you know, the, the again, maverick nature of both these players. We are not esports, but we're going to take a much more passive approach, I think, to the start of this match. Already now seeing some of the back airs uh, coming out from Arsenic first, but... Hazard has been doing a pretty good job of doing what Link does best, and that is control the bottom stage. Yeah, and also hide behind every single option that you don't need to commit to. Uh, and, and when you do need to commit, you just go for that now. But a nice jump read with the forward air to get a lot of percentage on the board now. And right now, though, Lyric, Arsene is out, and this is an absolute game changer. You need to know how to play around Arsene. That's one of the most important things you need to know about in this matchup, because, you know, you can camp him out all the live long day, but if you get hit one time, you're going to be in the blender for a minute. Yeah, a minute indeed. And now, once again, I feel like both players are taking such a passive approach. Down throw fair into the Aegon connect here. No stock taking quite yet, though, because Big Link, as I like to call him, is rather heavy compared to his counterpart. So he is going to die, though, to the drag down, down smash, and things are looking pretty good already for Arsenic. Yeah, uh, Arsenic with a very good start. And here's, a, here's another thing, too, Lyric. You know, we were talking about the Rebels. Um, Rebels Guard a little bit earlier. Uh, we haven't really seen too much of it being applied here, uh, but if Arsenic can live for quite a long time, we might be able to see another Arsene this stock, and those are deadly right now. But honestly, I feel like they're playing very awkward and neutral. Uh, it seems like they're, they're not able to find a lot of very good strings or openings or anything in general. Yeah, for sure, but... Here comes Hazard coming back and getting the stock. So we are pretty even. Once again, this is a lot slower pace than I expected, but it doesn't shock me as well, just due to the character, the nature of said characters. Hero Spin, though, gonna put on a decent amount of percent. That our send meter, once again, is stacking up. And every single time a projectile hits, uh, Arsenic actually benefits. So here comes Joker with Arsene on the back. So let's see how this one's gonna go. Trying to read the jump high with the back air, not gonna be able to find anything. Great get up by Hazard here. Yeah, you know, Arsene back air is basically a character in and of itself. That move is so strong. It does a lot of damage, it's disjointed, it's very, very hard to contest, and boy does it kill Lyric. Uh, I feel like right now the strategy from Arsenic is to just kind of keep Hazard in the corner and prevent them from being able to get out of it. You know, much similar to how you would see a Cloud play, but honestly, Considering the fact that Arsene was out and it, it didn't seem like Hazard was able to get much offense on the board, they did a good job of getting a lot of damage and also just downright avoiding some of the scarier hitbox that that character has. Yeah, I can definitely agree. Once again, just the slower pace, but now the problem is Hazard is in the corner, going to be able to come back here. Once again, I feel like Arsenic is just trying to find a kill option, going to be able to find the Nair down, trying to read the back going to be able to get the second one here. The bomb recovery is going to work. Unfortunately for Arsenic, they are going to read the F smash the wrong way. And once again, we're kind of just back into this kind of neutral, kind of uh, back and forth here. Someone's just trying to get it confirmed. Yeah, and you know, both these characters do have a plethora of Confirms. Obviously, Joker has those drag downs, and Link has that boomerang that can confirm into the sword. They also have bombs in general. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff that both these guys could do right now. It just feels like uh, they're playing an odd dance. Neither one of them wants to commit too hard because they know that if they uh, play a little bit too crazy, they can get blown up. And a spot dodge was looking to be read there from Arsenic, but Arsenic was not able to get that out. But what he does have out is Arsenic in there. Yeah, for sure. Here we go, though. To lose Arsene now would be such a Pain, but Hazard doing a really good job of making Arsenic uncomfortable, but going for the F tilt there, not gonna be able to find anything though. Just trying to find their way in. Ooh, okay, oh, gonna be yeah. able to find the up air, and yeah, thanks to our send there, a normal Joker that would not KO, but on our send Joker that will 100%. 
Yeah, definitely. It's going to do so pretty, pretty well. Time too. And now we see an opener off of that reverse hit in there into the dash deck. 17%, not too badly right now, but uh, if you're Arsenic, you definitely want to get a lot more extra credit on the board before you lose the stock or just completely sigh out hazard in general. Here we go, down air guns into the back air, looking really good right now, coming out from Arsenic at this point. 149 on Joker, this is definitely doable to get rid of, but honestly, the longer you keep jo Joker alive, the closer you are to death at this point, because once again, Arsene is kind of teasing his head into the windows here. Here we go though, boomerang hit, not gonna be able to get anything off of it. An arsenic back throw is the option here. Let's see how this one's gonna go. Just trying to find their way back up into center stage. Right, oh, that boomerang is actually gonna be sending hazard, or excuse me, arsenic away, giving hazard a little bit of an opportunity to take up center stage. But the thing is, it's all for naught unless you can take the stock. And Arsene is nearly here, the big angry man. I like the solo stage too because, yep, arsenic knew exactly what was coming out. Gets Ooh. the downer stomp into the up air. And with that rage and with the combination oh, of Arsene, it is over. That was three Arsenes in that one stock alone, Lyric. And I think that was yeah. the thing that put Arsenic over the edge. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit grueling. So that is going to be FAU going up two stocks, which is pretty hard uh, to make it back, especially if you're going to be Joker on that one. So want to see what they got in for next we don't know actually who's coming in on both sides so it's really just kind of once again that box of chocolates of you never really know what you're gonna get so honestly though from arsenic a little bit of a slower joker than i'm used to seeing just because i have mercury in my region and uh, right. he just runs in all the time <laughs> our uh, region but, excuse me <laughs> you're in indiana um uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh but a lot slower, but a little bit more calculated and definitely a little bit more like comfortable on what they wanted to come in. I, I see a Joker icon. If we see a Joker ditto, I'm going to scream, cry. Yes. Scream one of the, one cry. of the two. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I'm looking at the chat to see who the pick is. We don't have any confirmation yet right now. We're just trying to handle some, uh, some technical difficulties in the works right now, but that's okay. Um, I haven't a guess, but I will say that arsenic, Plays a lot more plotting than I see a lot more a lot of other jokers do. A lot of jokers tend to go, you know, guns blazing, full send offense all the time. Mm -hmm. But I, I really like this passive style uh, of play that we see him adopt. You know, in crew battles, sustaining your stocks is a really strong thing to do. And I honestly think that playing back in a lot of instances is all around better than playing too crazy. That could also be why we see certain players who play characters like you know Captain Falcons. Uh, opt for more defensive styles because losing your stocks is it affects your whole team, not just your chances. Yeah, very true. Um, I do see the potential of Ketchup coming in. Ketchup, a Lucas player. Uh, so we haven't seen the Earthbound kids get a lot of spotlight lately, at least in North America. In France, I believe, Nighthawk, yeah. uh, one of the stars of Wanted, honestly, piloting the Lucas meta. Um, to a fourth there. place at an over 500 player tournament. Yeah, uh, super big stuff for the Earthbound kids. Uh, Lucas, especially, not everyone's favorite zoner to play. I, I feel like Ness is a little bit more consistent, but Lucas definitely has some tricks. Oh, yeah. He does. I mean, you know, he's got that Zare that is is really hard to uh, counteract because it it's disjointed. It beats everything. The priority on it's ridiculous. And he's also got some weird drift back whenever he does his side B as well. And you know, his side B is very similar to melee Samus super missile, where it can kill you off the side on some stages. So, you know, it's a very scary ledge trapping tool. But uh, another thing is that this character has really good drag down potential. I mean, that drag down Nair into um, the jabs into the down tilt and the F smashes, you know, there's a lot of uh, close quarters combo game that not a lot of people talk about Lucas's ability to do so. And obviously, uh, they still have Ness up air from Smash 4, which is a very scary combo tool in its own right. Very true. Well, while we get our uh, streams back up and running, we are going to cut it to a quick break. So when we come back, we'll be seeing the continuation of FAU versus SUNY Polytech. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the stream. I'm Laird, and uh, it's this way. She's Lyric. And... Yeah, I know. I was confused with the same thing, too, earlier. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, sorry for the brief intermission. We were just uh, trying to maintain a good quality of camera for you guys so you can actually enjoy the matches like we can. Uh, and, you know, we're going to get right back into it here in a second. It looks like we're going to be having our next player come up to bat, and it is going to be Supa, apparently, rocking the K-Roll lyric. It was either K-Roll or somebody else, but I did see K-Roll at first. Well, <sighs> hey, you guys are in for a treat if we do if we do get the K-Roll, because K-Roll is fun to watch. Actually, depending on how they play. They can just hide behind Crown the whole time, but if they actually approach and try to take up space, it's, it's fun to watch. They get, they got, they do some nutty stuff. I totally agree, Laird, because you're my co-caster, and I'm always supposed to make you look good. Um, you can disagree I, if you want. Yeah, absolutely. I absolutely hate K. Roll in every single which way possible. I feel like their gameplay is well. Thank um, God it's not happening. linear. Yeah, but we'll get Wolf, who also has a very linear gameplay uh, game plan as well. Uh, you know, they're always looking for a back air. Uh, this is going to look a lot better coming out from SUNY Polytech on Supa on the Wolf. I actually feel like this is a great matchup for Wolf, but once again, Joker is a top tier. You never know what you're gonna get, but on a stage like Town and City, Ooh, uh, this one's gonna be rough. Yeah, we'll see. There's benefits to both of these characters, honestly. Uh, obviously, not gonna be getting too many kills off the top because of that high ceiling. Generally, you'd like to hit people off the side of the stage, which both these characters can do. They both have relatively strong back airs. Um, Wolf's is obviously one of the strongest in the whole game. Our said back air is stronger than that still. Uh, but I think the big thing here, Larry, that you need to keep in mind as Wolf is that um, this platform layout is really good for combo potential. And then it's gone. Sure. Yep. Um, Town and City is definitely one of those interesting stages where uh, the gameplay can be very polarizing, as we're seeing now. Uh, but it's going to be uh, Arsenic still coming out and trying to at least extend the lead as much as possible. But now you have to deal with an angry wolf. Ooh. Down throw into dash attack is going to be the tried and true, but so far they're really just boxing with each other. Yeah, oh, and looking for the down smash to try to catch Drift in as well, trying to catch a two frame. I, I'm liking Supa, he's trying to take the stock early and, uh, you know, cut Arsenic off early. Get rid of momentum, tries to get that roll raid, misspace it just barely. They were just a little bit more patient than probably could have gotten that. But I think a big thing you need to keep in mind here, Lyric, as well, is those short horizontal blasts. Lead trapping is a really good thing that, that Wolf has access to. That down smash kills ridiculously early. So does that F tilt as well at the two frame. But the big thing is that Joker can edge guard and Wolf really can't too well. So, yeah. Joker backer off stage is gonna be a death sentence for Supa if he gets caught by it. Yeah, you're absolutely correct, Laren. And just trying to find a way in, going to be able to shield the dash attack. And now it's really all just the Joker show, especially now with Arsene on ledge. So let's see how this one's gonna go. Dash attack in, Arsenic looking pretty good so far. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Oh, I the love smash. the potential. Yeah, I love the potential edge guard from both sides at that point. Yeah, I, I, generally uh, Joker is one of the best ledge trumpers in the whole game. There's a side B to catch, and looking for another one there. Uh, gonna up B to get back, but actually gonna fade away at tilt and knock out Neck either. A lot of flubs here in this in this ledge situation, and it is going to be Arsenic who uh, you know breaks through a little bit here. Has a three stock lead for his team here. Yeah, things are looking pretty good now for Florida Atlantic as well. But honestly, if Arsenic is able to take at least one more stock, I would say the lead is super significant. Right now, just one stock is good, but it's not great, right? You're not setting up your teammate for ultimate success at this point. Right. Arsene is out, so this is definitely possible to take one more. Okay, Mir. Hang on, attack. no jump. Okay, he's gonna decide to be back though because of a uh, botched offstage attempt there from Arsenic. But Arsenic, you know, caught in the corner, not stressing themselves out too much, trying to catch rollbacks and is very close to doing so, just barely misspacing it each time later. Yeah, they're looking really, really solid right now. But Supa gonna be able to find the Falling Nair to dash attack into the little bit of the combo upwards. No Arsene to deal with, so now's really the time to strike, if any. Going for the back air is not gonna be able to find anything. Honestly, Joker at 97, if you get a back air right on ledge, that could be it. Oh yeah. But once, yeah, now Supa is just obviously looking for it, but now back throw coming in from Arsenic into the AHA. So let's see how much meter he's gonna be able to get before he's potentially going to be out of this stock. I grabbed, turned the lights off, Lyric. 
Uh, and it's going to be forcing Arsenic into the corner. Nice get-up attack, though. Giving him a little bit of space. Looking for a drag down, potentially, on that platform, uh, but not quite going to do so. And, you know, this is Joker with a little bit of rage, but Arsene is here now because they got hit by that laser. And this gets a lot more scarier for Supa. A nice grab. Going for a lot of pummels. Down throw. Uh, give himself a lot of space. Looking for a Nair as well. Just try to stack up this damage, not try to take too much themselves. And you can see Arsenic on the other side of things just fishing for those back airs. Yeah, of course. It's what you gotta do. 169. Honestly, down tilt. Um, but here we go. Once again, Arsenic just wants to get this last stop. Unfortunately, big brother Arsene is gone. So now it's now down to base Joker. But it's not looking too bad. Nair isn't gonna KO, even on a stage like Town and City with small sides. But if Arsenic can get this last stock before they're going to be taken out, it, it's gonna be really, really uh -oh. great from Florida. Ooh. Landing in the flash almost even takes it. Oh, nice the reverse there hit too. of Nair? Jeez. I like that. Really good heads up play from Super there, Lily. Uh, and, you know, surviving in that last situation there where uh, they were at a very high percent on that stock is is huge because now they're only down by one as opposed to yep. two, which they could have been down on otherwise. But no, I really love that early side B because I feel like. They knew that Arsenic was expecting the drift in, which is why they went for the forward air. And, you know, they were able to get back out of dodge there using the wolf flash. Really strong option there. Not using it in a deliberate way that you generally see a lot of other wolves do as, you know, a go-to-ledge option. Just using it to just get out of dodge and, and keep yourself safe. That, that's a really good heads-up play there. Yeah, for sure. Unfortunate from uh, Arsenic, unable to get that last stock, or the second-to-last stock, because it was very doable at that point but you know uh wolf nair is such a broken move the hitboxes yeah. go kind of everywhere and even that was the weak hit of the backside of the nair and it still just ko'd from the center of the stage yeah. which totally makes sense because smash ultimate is a programmed game by professionals yes and to be fair though you did have joker who's you know kind of in that lower midweight class at like 200 percent and, you know, you were Wolf with Rage on the shortest distance to the horizontal blast zones in the entire game. So I can definitely see the reason why, but still, like, that's yeah. an egregiously strong there. <laughs> For no reason, too. I do see Ketchup in the, um, on the bleachers. Oh, my God, my brain is just staticking away. <laughs> do see Ketchup on the bleachers. Once again, we talked about this a little bit earlier. Lucas. Um, I'm interested to see how this one would go. I actually feel like Lucas into Wolf would be fantastic. Um, especially yeah. be because of the PK freeze, the PK fire, uh, the, the Zare, like it all kind of looks good on paper, but once again, we'll see how this one's going to go. Uh, I, if I'm not mistaken, Larry, we were talking about, uh, the run that our boy had in wanted a couple weeks ago. Uh, what was it? What was their name? Neca Netaz? Nitox. Nitox. I was close. There um, it is. Yeah. But they had okay. to. They had to beat one of the best wolves in Europe in order to make it into that situation. But you want to talk about fun characters that have been increasing their relevance in the meta? Look no further. Kazuya Mishima is in the building oh, here <laughs> for Suny. Oh boy. What's well, your opinion on this character lyric? Yeah, this character. So, well, okay. So Kazuya Mishima is really the talk of the, the Smash community town, right? Um, and for good reason. This yeah. character is inherently everything that a DLC character wants and should have, right? Um, this is, you know, he has a reflect. He has a stun. He has literally everything. He has a projectile. Literally everything under the sun. Yeah, he's got so, he's got um, iframes on a lot of his moves. I mean, he's ridiculous, lyric. Yeah. So let's see how this one's gonna go. Even on a stage like um, Kalos with the smaller ceiling, the stun into the up B is definitely gonna take it early. So let's see how this one's gonna go. Yeah, and you can see a lot of uh, fishing from the Kazuya from Florida Atlantic. We don't have their tag just yet. A lot of fishing for this uh, first hit of Twin Pistons into the Electric Wind God Fist. And you know, right now you're just like, Supa's like, all right, you know, I'm hanging back. I'm waiting for one opener because, you know, Kazuya's a very heavy lad. He gets combos for quite a long time, especially against a character who's a so pseudo-sorty uh, because of that forward that Wolf has. But my God, reflecting the laser for like 20%. 
Yeah, it, it's kind of ridiculous when you really think about it. Yeah. But this is a great stage for Kazuya. I feel like just the open center stage looks yep. really good. The platforms on the side also give Kazuya a way to kind of escape if things go wrong. But I really like how Supa's kind of, you know, taking control of everything, just jumping around, not really giving Kazuya a plain line of sight of where they're going to go. But here comes the first sun into the up smash. And wow, our Kazuya player who did not tell us their tag, by the way, before going in, uh, is doing a fantastic job so far of kind of still, you know, taking this lead a little further. That's okay, though. He's not here for notoriety. He's here to secure a victory for his team. Looking to make it a three-stock game again, and he goes for the grab. Rising forward air as well, and the up air as well. Catches him in the corner. Goes for the full charge. Maybe a little bit unwarranted there. But again, if you're feeling yourself as Kazuya, your opponent is in a bad situation. Oh, he gets it. That's it. Grand Dragon Uppercut for <laughs> Florida Atlantic. Oh, my God, dude. Wins. Yeah, and that's going to be Supa falling to our friend on the the mystery Kazuya Mishima. The Kazuya Mishima uh, coming out for SUNY Polytech. Honestly. Who is um, this? We don't know. We'll never know. And also, this this is uh, this is for uh, Florida Atlantic, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I'm tired production. No, it's it's not. <laughs> again, again, they're not picking into their you know, designated uh, spots because we instruct them to do so. That's okay, though. I mean, when you're this That's good at the Smash game... That's a player you can... classic, by the way. Exactly, yeah. You can get away from stuff like this. Uh, or get away with stuff like this when you play that mean of a Kazuya. It's very true. So, Kazuya Mishima. What do you think, Laird, while we wait for our next character? Or our next player? Kazuya, yeah. uh, give me a rundown, overview of what you think of this character. Broken. This character is insanely good. Any character that can combo into a quick reflector that has intangibility frames, or not reflector, a quick uh, stun move that has intangibility frames and combos into most of, if not their entire kit, also sets up for some true zero to death combos, is a broken character. Now, there's one thing that Kazuya tends to struggle with though, and it is really good range. If they are not reflecting your shots back at you, if you're playing a very good zoner, uh, you know, they're in a bit of a bit of a world of hurt. They're very stubby, obviously being a close quarters character. Uh, so they're, they're okay on the defense if you're the one approaching them, but that's not always the case. So they're usually the one dictating offense. But then again, you know, what they lack in a good disadvantage state, they more than make up for with one of the best, most broken advantage states in the entire game. And it's not even close. All right. Well, that was Omnilax on the Kazuya there. <laughs> uh, once again, very good. Uh, doing all the things that Kazuya does. Not quite sure who Suni is throwing in next. I know the names are getting thrown everywhere. Uh, so we'll see who our friend Minpress plays. Uh, but into Kazuya, who do you think Kazuya's like firm counters are? Uh, any, there's 86 any, like, characters in Ultimate. He's got to lose to one of them. I was going to say any charge character, I would say. Like Samus is a big one. That's like a minus two. Uh, as long as you avoid getting your shot reflected back into you, which will kill you at zero for some reason, because that is the strongest reflector in the entire game, uh, which does more than double damage and more than double knockback. But I digress. Um, if you can use really good disjointed options that are pretty safe, I think I'd say sorties are pretty good here. Ones that can play from a distance, maybe like a fast one like Lucina or uh, maybe a Pyramithra Aegis would be very strong as well. Uh, if you want to get more up close and personal, but we're going to see who the counterpick is here from SUNY. And I'd like to remind you that they are down six stocks to three right now. Yeah, it's looking really, really rough. Two whole players left. So let's see how this one's going to go. But once again, we are just waiting for the players to get on their proper sides of the ring. Um, yep. I want to see, once again, what the matchup's going to be, especially in Takazia. This is terrifying. Yes. So Minpra's, once again, going to be coming in for SUNY as their anchor. So uh, honestly, once again, this this match has been very odd in terms of pacing, but uh, Palantina. Ooh, okay. I can see it I don't there. know, but I mean, I can see it, but I still think Kazia does a pretty good job of killing the princess weights around, you know, 80, 90%. Right, right. But on the contrary, I would like to say that the advantage state that Palutena could bring to the table against Kazuya is ridiculous. Imagine trying to land as Kazuya against that up air. Very true. All right. Well, we are going to hollow Bastion. 
And once again, we're going to just jump right in. Omnilax for Florida Atlantic. And for SUNY Polytech, we got Minpras. Uh, I actually think this is a great stage for Kazuya as well, just because, honestly, you're going to have to kind of give up something, whether it be, uh, you know, stage advantage. But oh my God. just because of this, he's dead. Right no now. way, no oh, way. Right now, you're oh dead. my you're God. Dead. I was going to say because of the small ceilings, but, you know. Omnilax not giving me a chance to say anything. And I'm not either. I want to talk about that. He extended the uh, the tumble animation after falling forward air into the side B to get the trip, and then continued it from there. That's ridiculous, man. This character is a problem. Oh no. Yeah. Ooh, it's starting it's actually again. going for it again too. Yeah. I mean, once again, this is what I was talking about. Why, unfortunately, I don't think this is a good matchup for uh, Palutena, just because you're dead. Ooh. Oh, yeah. You're, oh, you're the dead. snipe. <laughs> oh my god. Omnilax, one stock left to separate them from victory. Oh my god. And getting the super armor through the Nair as well. So no Pal Palutena Nair train coming out. Rip. Electric Wind Godwit. Godfist gonna connect into the up smash. But unfortunately, since it's not on the platform, it's not gonna KO quite yet. One more of those uh, layered. And uh, we're going already into game number two. And it's looking really scary, especially that shield. Yeah, the spinning tombstone to do a ton of shield damage and pressure. Has Rage Art on deck right now, Lyric. And you know what that means. One grab and it's over. Oh, but they're going to go for the angled up F-tilt as oh, well. Oh, no way. To go for the spinning. And that is a flawless victory. 5-0 in terms of stocks for Omnilax. Brutal. Florida Atlantic with one set in the hole now. After an unstoppable performance, no one held a candle to Omnilax there. Yeah, that was that was looking a little little rough, and that is going to be FAU. Uh, despite everything in terms of getting things up and running, just as fast as possible, just closing out that first game. And now, honestly, uh, if I am FAU, I'm sending in the Kazuya first and letting Omnilax <laughs> do their thing. I mean, yeah, I don't blame you, dude. I, I, I would do the same thing because, oh my god, that was. A dominating performance that's not even their anchor lyric and nor ordinarily you would reserve the anchor for who you would consider to be the best player in the clutch situations and you sent in your oh gosh an uncontestable player in second that is downright terrifying yeah all right well let's see what we are going to be going back into because once again that was a little brutal uh I don't even know who the last player on FAU is. I mean, does it even matter? Because literally, uh, Omnilax came in and took six stocks and did not lose one. So they, they, they took five. Um, oh, they took five. Yeah, they okay. went when they went in. Uh, their opponent had two stocks. Two stocks. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So honestly, once again, I'd send in the Kazi at first. I in, would too. In my opinion, like, and we know the other players on the team. Are, are competent too. Like, send in the Kazuya, see how far that one player can get. Uh, and once again, they didn't even show their third player. So it, it could go either way. Yeah. Wow. So I'm, I'm still trying to digest that because, <laughs> man, that that first stock was poetry in motion lyric. I mean, it was beautiful. You, all, all it takes with Kazuya, you just need one good opener, and well, everything else just kind of works out it, for itself. Yep, very, very true. So uh, we, we're expecting the Kazuya lead here, right? I, I want the Kazuya lead. I would like the Kazuya lead. For yeah, maximum hype you... effort, I would want the Kazuya lead. Yeah, yeah I, you know, having them in the back, a player who you know just kind of can't be taken out by anyone on the opposing team, <laughs> having, them, having them in the anchor seems like the best play. Because no matter what, having them in the back seems like, oh, okay, well... You know, we may we might have gotten through the other six stocks, but these three are going to be harder than both of both of them put together. Man, that's yeah, really very, really very brutal true. performance. But you and know, the then other again, team as well had a really good spread of top tier characters: Palutena, Wolf, and Joker. Like, it, it's it, it's not a bad spread. It's not like you know we're getting like Kirby and Jigglypuff and characters that just kind of like evaporate very easily. Uh, we're going to be sending in Arsenic once again first on the Joker, so I'm not going to be able to get what I want and seeing Kazuya potentially six stock an entire crew, or nine well, stock an entire crew, but, you know. To be fair, Arsenic did their work. They, they, they took he out their, their first Very opponent, true. securing counterpick advantage for the rest of their team for the rest of the set, um, if they needed it. <laughs> and um, 
this this also just you know taking taking four stocks to your three not bad you're going positive yeah for sure well starting off with the joker once again i think is a great move once again joker can stick around for a little bit as well so honestly it's just going to be all about how the order wants to change around i actually th think fielding the palatina first might actually be good for this or fielding the wolf first because i think supra did a fantastic job when they were in in game one yeah um I'd say so as well. I'm trying to even remember who the lead was. It was the Link. It was Hazard. Yes, yes, um, it was Hazard. So, you know, putting Hazard in the middle might be okay. I think, honestly, Link might not do too poorly against Kazuya because, you know, you got Boomerang, you got you got these disjoints in general, and so you're going to be able to keep them out in a big way. Plus, you have close quarters options like that Nair to scrap with, and, you know, you could really punish them. So, you know, I think that might be a good counter pick. I feel like, yeah, fielding the Wolf or the Palutena here might not be too bad of an idea. Because if you go up first, you're in a good position in the uh, next couple of matches. Yeah, for sure. So just to bring up a little bit of data on Omnilax while we wait, uh, this guy actually means Ken. Um, I'm seeing mostly Ken yeah. and Ganon games. Yeah, yeah, you'll love to see the Ganon dwarves coming out. So, okay, okay, okay. But Lyric, I don't mean to cut you off, but essentially you're taking Ken and Ganon and you're putting them together and you have Kazuya. Honestly, I've never heard a better analogy in my entire life. And that's like not even... That's like, why I'm here, baby. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, so they do pretty well in their locals. I see a lot of just uh, first through fifths. Um, at their Arcadian, South Florida Arcadians at Flint um, Arcade, um, I, I think I'm seeing a 17th. Uh, which is very interesting, but I hmm. see a lot of one through fives. Um, and South Florida as well is definitely not a terrible region either. Uh, a lot no, of losses to Chunky Kong, uh, which makes sense. Chunky Kong is a very good DK player. Uh, one of the I'm best. Sure layered. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> and a couple <laughs> to J Mafia as well, who are like the two oh, yeah. pillars down there. So that totally makes sense. Uh, but once again, a lot of a lot of thirds. Um, so definitely on the verge of a come up. And once again, this is why we love collegiate smash. Cause once again, you never know what you're going to get. Yeah. But man, I mean, who expected a Kazuya today? Not me. I I'm, I love Kazuya, dude. Like this character is, you know, terrifying to play against. Cause you get hit once. I'm sorry. You, you lose a stock, but yeah. alternatively think about it this way. We're not playing right now. We are watching the show and it has been a good one, man. Yeah, for sure, for sure. It's a couple more, of course, um, like characters that they play. Um, as you can probably guess, I do see a couple games on uh, Ryu and Terry as well, but yep. a singular game on Rob and 15 games on DDD. So this guy likes his heavies, for sure. He, he plays the video game. He press button good. Apparently, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's not a, often it's not often you see a five zero in quarterfinals of playoffs. Yeah, that is once again very true. Once again, we are apologizing about the delay. We're still getting some uh, we're still getting some uh, things figured out heading on into game number two. But once again, we know for sure that Arsenic is going to be starting on that Joker. Uh, yeah. But once again, shout outs to esports. You make sure you follow them on all platforms: Twitch and Twitter and Instagram. Uh, bringing you some of the best collegiate smash and collegiate esports that we got going on right now. Uh, if I just look up Arsenic real quick, just to keep yeah. talking, uh, bring up some more data. Uh, another couple like games on Rob. All right, well, we are going to be jumping right into the game. Does not matter. No time to speak at all. Uh, we are going to, with the same starting matchup as last time. But this time on a different stage. We're going to be on Smashville, it looks like. I believe they started on PS2 last time. Correct me if I'm wrong, Lyric. Correct. Uh, yeah. This is actually a great stage, I think, for both characters. I feel like I a agree. lot of the times, I feel like a lot of the times that um, you know we counterpick and smash, we accidentally bring characters uh, to their really good stages. But I actually feel like this is pretty neutral for both characters, at least versus each other. They're both going to benefit off the same thing. Right, and and that thing is holding the middle platform and weaving around it super well. The person who is under the platform in this matchup, A, they have more stage, and B, they are safe from aerial approaches. So, it is a very strong position to hold. 
Yes, for sure. Now, once again, this is going to be really important for SUNY Polytech to get ahead as soon as possible. Because once again, you know what's waiting after Arsenic potentially. So it, it's looking actually pretty terrifying. But so far, percentages are even. Once again, we are going to be seeing the um, like the slower gameplay, the slower neutral come out. But we were seeing guns a little bit earlier, but now we're going to be seeing our set. Yeah, and you know why Arsenic likes to play the slow? Because he's waiting for Big Daddy Arsene to come on deck and help him out. Give him a helping hand, make all of his attacks ludicrously powerful, and also kill options where they really weren't before. Yep, for sure, for sure. Double roll. Go. Yeah, uh, honestly, the bakery is always looking a good Ooh. place, but you know what else looks good? The the Rebels Guard and, you know, just no tech zone at all. Yeah, it, it's hard to get those techs online. The uh, timing is a little bit different than what you might expect. And honestly, I, I feel like SUNY Poly's Hazard might have expected the counter to send the other direction, uh, which is why they probably weren't ready for the tech in general. Yeah, for sure. Here we go, though. And the hold Down. after that too. Interesting. <laughs> the the I got you in my hands. What are you gonna do about it now? Type of hold is very funny. A lot of personality in that grab lyric. Very true. Here we go though. Hazard has arsenic on the ledge at this point. One twelve. The bomb not gonna be able to connect. It's going to avoid Ooh. literally every projectile possible. But the grappling hook is very long, but not long enough for that one. We are even stock once again. Yeah, that air dodge was meant to be the thing to escape their fate, but it only sealed it in so doing. So right now, Arsenic, a little bit worse for wear. Um, they're starting to take a little bit of damage without being able to, to deal too much back to Hazard. A nice catch on the jump. Arsene is out again, though, Lyric, and this is 85% Link. Not the lightest character in the game by any stretch of the imagination, but again, Ooh, on a stage with glass zones like this one, oh! that backer is a killer, Lyric. Oh my god, and you were talking about light work, right? And how Link isn't necessarily light. Well, Arsene isn't necessarily uh, kind to any character either. So the Aegon is going to come out. Trying to read with the hard F smash. Going to be able to get the pivot grab into the Aegon instead. Going for the back air there. Oh my god, the spike was looking real good. But great on Hazard to be able to attempt to come back here. Going to get hit by the down air. I love how Arsenic realizes that the boomerang was coming back and just reset neutral. And he was like, you know what? All right, you got it. Um, I'm still up another whole nother stock here. Yeah, I have my lead. You can play with your Australian toy all you want. Um, <laughs> well, I'm just going to hang back here and, and, and find a better way to get in. I like this. I, I like Arsenic's uh, fluidity in neutral, transitioning from you know a, a slower plotting style to knowing when to get in and deal their damage. It's not something yeah. we see too often from this character. Very true. Dash attack coming out. Okay, even the bomb recovery actually gives Arsenic some some rage meter to go with. That's so funny when you really think about it. But yeah. Arsene is coming online, and uh, I mean, Hazard's already at 130%. This is not looking good for Polytech until but that moment right there. A good roll read is going to uh, give them a little bit more breathing room going into the next player. Should they need it? Hazard now, you know, in the back seat, but again, if they could just hold center, I feel like they're rolling away from the platform too much whenever they do have a firm hold over it. But if they could just hold center um, and keep Arsenic on the back foot, they, they, could have, they could have a good chance to come back into this lyric. Yeah, it's, it's very true, but they have to play so calculated at this point. One confirm, Oof. and that's going to be it. 25.2% or one stock left on Florida Atlantic University. And SUNY Polytech will be going down, but uh, as much as happy as they can be bringing it back at least one stock closer than they did last time you know who's waiting in the wings yeah uh and and he's, <laughs> he started doing his warm-ups you know he's he's getting his um electric wind god fist timing down pat and yeah. you know he, he gotta be careful because i'm assuming ketchup is the one in the back uh with the lucas and ketchup is a, is a strong talented lucas player of their own right but i mean after what our boy did last set being able to get rid of this uh, of arsenic is a big <laughs> ask. Yeah, this is honestly terrifying. Um, I think we're seeing Omnilax here. I or uh, sorry, I think we're seeing our friend on the wolf come back at this point. Yes. Or we're gonna see the yes. Okay, I think uh, so. Once my brain is just not working today. <laughs> it's um, a Monday. It happens. <laughs> yeah, it does happen, but. If I had uh, to guess, that's who we're getting. Because, yeah. you know, they, they did a pretty good job against Arsenic last time. And this time, they might even be able to cut them off without even dropping a stock. 
Yeah, very, very true. So honestly, I wouldn't be surprised at the same rotation either. Uh, the Palutena also wouldn't be a terrible idea coming in as well. Uh, but it's really all about comfort at that point. So let's see exactly where we're going to go and how we are going to go on that one. But once again, we are just waiting for the uh, next players to kind of choose their stage. And where do you think we're going to go for this one? I would need to know the character pick first. Uh, I, I, I'm assuming probably town again because that, that fared pretty well last time. Yeah. Uh, if, if it should come down to that. But um, I can't imagine there's many stages that one of these characters likes more than the other. I would imagine Battlefield probably is going to be getting banned because I don't think Joker likes Triplats as much as Wolf does, if I had yeah. to guess. And, uh, you know, I mean, they like Smashville versus Link, so, you know, that there's that. I don't think they would ban it against Wolf per se. I think Town of City is probably the, the most likely pick. Yeah, it's definitely coming up in terms of popularity lately. Mm. Um, in terms of things like Town and City, just because um, I feel like a lot of players are trying to go for like that mix up now of like having no platforms to going to platforms. But you never really know. Once again, it's all about comfort. Because I know at least for uh, I know at least for Tri State, you know, we tend to hate Town and City. We tend to just live on PS2 and small battlefields. Uh, but in other regions like MTVA, it's kind of like their home. Oh, yeah. so they're going to be sending in the Lucas Ketchup. Uh oh. Yeah, this is going to be this going to be interesting. Uh, just to pull up some data about Ketchup. Um, Ketchup was actually just at Clip It, which was oh, yeah? a regional in New York yesterday that happened. And they got 97th, which is isn't terrible but once again lucas is a character that i don't feel like too many people and too many regions actually have right and honestly I, I can't think of any off the top of my head that hang out in uh, florida so uh arsenic who is a florida native might not be able to find it i feel like Kalos is going to be the pick is what a little birdie in my ear might have just told me <laughs> uh <laughs> and for Lucas, I could definitely see it. And I feel like Lucas is is a good pairing into faster, slightly disjointed characters similar to like a wolf or a uh, joker as we're seeing right now. Because, you know, that disjointed Zara is very hard to contend with. And you can also do a lot of good baiting in using that side B to, to back off at a moment's notice as well. Yeah, you're absolutely correct. So we are going to be jumping right in. Once again, we got Ketchup the Lucas going up against Arsenic's one stock on the Joker. Once again, Arsenic's job here is to take one stock because we know, once again, who's waiting in the wings already starting out with a really strong AHA, looking really good. But I love the aerial approaches to essentially avoid the Nair coming out from Lucas because that is one of Lucas's main combo tools. Right. Now, I'm starting to notice something a little bit differently here, Lyric, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like Arsenic's turned up the tempo a little bit here, and they're playing a lot more faster, a lot more aggressively than they were playing earlier against Hazard. Yeah, maybe a little bit more matchup experience uh, knowledge on that one. Maybe just knowing that they have to at least take one, but here comes our send now. And honestly, on the Earthbound kids, uh, even a back air is going to be a little bit dangerous, but we already saw that Lucas was able to absorb some of the uh, AHA back to get some health, but the uh, snake hit into the back air is actually going to give them some more percent at this point. F smash yeah. is going to come out. Oh, and they Ooh, got the spike dead. off the you're platform dead. 100%. as well, too. I like how they played that. You know, uh, Ketchup just kind of got hit, and they, they, they were kind of like a deer in the headlights for the first 30 seconds yeah. of the match, but then uh, Arsenic started to rest on their laurels a little bit. You know, like, oh, we have a lead, we have Arsene, we're fine. And then they started being way too relentless in their offense. Not, you know, playing no caution to the wind and just jumping into those hits. And it felt like Ketchup was kind of matadoring him into that a little bit yeah. as well. Uh, so... We do know that there is a Kazuya who might be there to supplant <laughs> Arsenic, but there is also a third player that we have not seen yet who might potentially have a good matchup against Lucas if it's a sword character or something uh, similar. Yeah, definitely. I, I mean, we were talking about the Kazuya because for good reason, right? I, I mean, the Kazuya did the work before. But now you have a lineup switch up with Ketchup, kind of like how we saw a little bit earlier with um when hydra came in uh for njcu so i i feel like it's it's like papa bear and papa bear is just like you're messing with my cubs bro like <laughs> hold up man like this is this is my deal 
Polar. Okay, so I've heard polar, of polar is. Before. So there's a couple polars in this world. There's a polar from Canada. There's a polar from Connecticut. But I actually feel like this is the polar that they're talking about because polar would be close to SUNY Polytech, which is upstate. There's a couple polars. There's one of three polars that I'm thinking of. There's a PT polar, there's a Luigi polar, and there's yep. a Sonic polar. Uh, there's three. I'm thinking if this, let me just give a quick little check. So once again, Clip It happened yesterday. Uh, Clip It is a regional that happened upstate, and SUNY Polytech definitely went because it's an upstate New York school. Uh, born and raised in New York, by the way. Um, and that polar, the Luigi polar, went and got 25th. This mm. would be a really great ace in the hole for um, for polar, but it is going to be the Palutena. Um, Interesting. Which, so all of that on um, all of that analysis gone to trash, but that's okay. Um, so polar Palutena, seventeen games on Ridley as well um, versus Lucas. Yeah, Palutena is a better choice. Pal yeah, Pal's Pal's pretty good. I mean, a floaty weight character like Lucas who tends to have an issue landing on occasion. That Paltana eats that for breakfast, Lyric. I've got to be it's real true. with you. You know, that, that Zare uh, might be the good thing to keep in mind if you're catch-up. It might keep them in the match, but still, Palutena is a is a menace. And depending on what stage we go to, they can absolutely exploit and uh, get through, do a ton of damage to this small child. It's very, very true. So we are even in terms of players as well, Polytech has to has to choose now on what they're going for because once again it's looking kind of spooky um but i mean honestly doesn't look too bad mm. yeah we'll we'll see we'll see how it goes i imagine this is you know this being a bad matchup means that one of these players probably the one who's weaker in it might have a little bit more experience in their back pocket uh, and know some of the more intimate aspects of this matchup gotcha yeah Honestly, now that we know it's Palutena, where do you think we're going? Uh, I'm thinking Triplats or Town and City. Those are my two mm. two bids. Against Lucas, Town and City? I don't yes. know. I don't know about all that. It's Palutena's PK best Fire. stage. Yeah, but PK Fire may KO off the side pretty early. It might, but if you keep yourself safe, it's not an issue. Yeah, that's very true. And, and uh, on the other hand, on the other side of things, you have your down tilt confirms, which are very easy to hit against flow to your characters, your down throw back airs as well, your back throw which is ludicrous as well. Actually, you know, no, I think about it, Lucas's throw game is quite strong too. So a lot of applications here to to say the least. FD might yep. not be a bad idea as well, but not, a lot of people don't like going to FD against against uh, the, the PK kids. And I think the bands coming out are Smashville, Battlefield, and Yoshi's. So triplets are off the table, uh, and as is Smashville. So three very unique stages are gone from the roster. Now that leaves us with, if I'm not mistaken, PS2, Town and City, FD, Kalos, and the other one. Is there Hollow Bastion? One? Hollow Bastion, you're correct. Yeah. So let's see how that one's going to go. Uh, okay. Foresight. Okay, it's PS2. <laughs> yeah. I was about to say, I'm like, I'm not opposed to the, <laughs> the, the Foresight. Why not? It's, it's a bold should... pick to be sure. Not one I expected. <laughs> All right. Well, it is going to be Polar stepping up to bat here. Once again, versus Ketchup, who we've now seen. So let's see, Polar coming in for Florida Atlantic versus uh, SUNY Polytech's very own ketchup. Let's see. I'm excited for this one, Lyric. We're on PS2, you know, home turf. Palutena's love the stage. They get really good extensions here on these platforms. But I feel like the movement that Lucas gets around these platforms is really beneficial to them as well. Now, here's the big thing. Ooh. Lucas struggles with disjoints. Palutena's got a lot of them, as well as a really good juggling tool in that up air and good combos with that nair. So I feel like Palutena is the tool for the job here. Yeah, going to opt to recover super high, which I actually agree with. You never want to land into Lucas. This character has too many good things on a shield. The Zare into the back air. Once again, the confirms from Ketchup have been solid this game. F Smash is going to come out once again. So now it's really all about how is Polar going to be able to recover here? The up tilt, you know they were looking for it into the up airs. But once again, Ketchup looking solid. Explosive light going to put... Polar in a terrible spot, but the down smash doesn't connect. And once again, we're back in neutral, but it doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter where Polar is going. Ketchup is following. 
Yeah, Ketchup has been doing a really good job tracking. You know, Ness is not the fat, or excuse me, Lucas is not the fastest character in the game. Uh, they don't have amazingly fast aerial drift, and it's not horrible, but uh, what they do very well is they get on top of you. And if they can't get on top of you, they at least squeeze a PK fire in there. And they're doing a very good job of keeping their space. And sometimes they just opt to single hop, that's an up there, should kill. Yes, it will with that rage. Uh, and, you know, honestly, they use a disjoints well. Uh, and honestly, that's really all you need sometimes. Yeah, for sure. Down air not going to be able to, or back air, excuse me, not going to be able to connect. But once again, catch up. Just giving the hands to Polar here. And Polar just is struggling to find their way in, trying to warp out of the way, but it doesn't even seem to matter. The recoveries have been decent, just the initiations haven't been there. But I just don't think catch up is giving Polar the opportunity to initiate. Yes, and I haven't seen any of those uppers yet, Lyric. There's a counter to catch the Zare, but it's not going to hit because Ketchup was already too far behind Polar. There is a drag down Nair into the up, so that is going to kill really early. That's a actually underrated part of Peltier's hit that I've only started being seen utilized recently. Yeah, I feel like it's because there's so much end lag on it as well. So, you know, if you throw it out, there's tons of ways to punish. But once again, it is very, very strong, like you said. But here comes those Nairs we were talking about. Yeah, also a very strong part of this character's kit. Gets a down tilt to linger as well. Gets a second one, too. And uh, Polar's starting to find themselves a little bit more comfortable in this matchup, I think, Lyric. Yeah, definitely oh, there it is. like a second win. Yeah, finally. Uh, once again, sometimes it's all just about, like, getting a little bit more comfortable. Ketchup did have kind of a match to play with as well, and Polar is kind of coming in fresh here. So let's see how this one's going to go. Going to be able Ooh. to recover, but the perfect timing. Coming out from Ketchup, looking so fantastic here. Those thin ledges too are going to have that down smash to just go right through. And I feel like Polar, you know, obviously after the teleport ends, there's a little bit of time where you drift up, so they would have grabbed ledge. The issue is that they weren't immediately on top of ledge, so they had to drift into that down smash in order to make it back through. And at that point, it was a lost cause. All right, here we go. Back throw is going to be the option here. Polar just trying to find their way in. This would be so unfortunate if they were to get sent in. They'd only be able to take one stock. But once again, you want to make it easier for Omnilax, who's going to be coming in, going to once again off to go high, which is totally fine. But once again, Ketchup controlling the platform, controlling the center stage. Looks all fantastic. Going to be able to get the first parry that we've seen coming out from them. But once again, they're stuck on the ledge. Yeah, oh, nice pulling upper off the platform, too, to give Ketchup some space. Back throw. I've been loving the back throws. I've been loving the grabs in general. Uh, they've been doing a good job of just making sure. And the... Oh my gosh, the multi-hit of the down air to take them off stage into the spike hit box there. That, that's nah, God like. That was, what a play. That was so stylish. They totally meant to do that as well. Exactly, totally, yeah. Totally, totally. Oh my God, brutal, brutal. So, well, we... Um, hey, life sucks <laughs> to three. You know who's coming uh -huh. in next. Yeah, right. Um, may not be certainly impossible for a certain somebody. Uh... This one's going to be a little rough, honestly. I, I I can see how Lucas can maneuver, but it's Kazuya. <laughs> you know what? At the yeah. end of the day, it's Kazuya. I'd be surprised if Omnilax didn't go in at this point, but you never know who's also waiting on the uh, other side of that. But once again, Omnilax going to be the captain here going in. We'll see where we're going in terms of stage, but honestly... I feel like Lucas and Kazuya benefit off of the same thing, so it doesn't really matter. It's going to be player to player at that point. Yeah, I agree. I I gotta be honest with you, Lyric. I think Lucas might be the tool to trade to finally put the Kazuya to bed. Interesting. Why do you say that? Well, uh, disjoints and projectiles. Those are the two things we were discussing earlier that might make it difficult for this character. The one thing that Lucas doesn't have that Kazuya struggles with is a good juggling option. But honestly. Considering the maneuverability that this young dude has, as well as a, a tether grab, which is something I didn't mention earlier, but is super underrated against Shoto characters in general, is, you know, just there's just a lot that this character can do to keep themselves away, matador themselves away, bait in the Kazuya as opposed to being the one engaging. And, you know, if, if they don't, if the Kazuya doesn't want to engage, they don't have to either. They got disjoints and projectiles, so they can just kind of poke from afar and ultimately irritate this very scary man from a distance yeah it's very true where do you think we're going uh flat stages kazuya loves flat stages so i'm thinking a kalos if we can't get fd i'm thinking uh probably no tri -plats. i could see hollow bastion or smashville they worked out really well before 
Right. And I feel like the length of Town and City might be a, a deal breaker, so I would probably hazard against that as well. PS2 is not out of the question, but I can't imagine it's a preferred choice. So I'd say if you can get FD or Kalos, go there. If you can't get either of those, I would assume probably whatever has the next best layout. Yeah, I can maybe, totally agree with that. Maybe one of those neutral uh, single plat stages like uh, Smashville uh, or Hollow Bastion. Maybe, maybe indeed. Statistically, one of those four stages has to be unbanned, so we could be going to one of those. But we shall see once again. We are just waiting on, of course, just the commit. So let's see once again. Uh, honestly, if Ketchup is going to continue playing the same way that they've been playing, I, I feel like this is a very solid, definitely going to game three type beat. I can definitely see it too, Lyric. I, I, I think I would be remiss to disagree because Ketchup coming in here, I'm, I'm kind of... I'm not concerned, but curious as to why Ketchup did not enter the fray in our first set between these two teams. But, uh, you know, better late than never, I would say. It's very true. Very, very true. So once again, we are just waiting to get started up here. But once we do, we're going to oh get the live feed of the, of the stage. So uh, yeah. wel welcome to the stage select screen, everybody. I, I'm still very upset that we didn't finish the FD. three the three spots at the end. But yeah, we're going to FD. What do you think about this one? Uh, it's a good Kazi stage. Flat stages, no platforms. It is very hard to run away from this guy on a stage like this. But, I mean, hey, we've seen this dude, our main man, Omnilax, take away five stocks without even dropping a single one before. This time, you are dealing with pressure. You want to end this now, and your team wants you to do so as well. You might not have the mental endurance for another set. So... This time, you know, not playing from the middle, playing from the back, and you gotta you gotta contend with a good amount of pressure from your opponent. So let's see if Omni Lax cracks, and if he uh, opens the floodgates for a third set, or if he can shut out Sunni Pauly right now. Yeah, this is definitely looking a little bit scary here, but Ketchup already going to get started here. Every percentage, I think, layered here is going to count more than ever, really, once we really think about it, because uh, it's, it's five stocks, and you gotta get through Ketchup first, and Ketchup out of anybody is probably one of the strongest players that we've seen all day. And how do you realistically get around this Lucas wall of PK fire? Uh, I mean, that laser's doing a good job, the, the jump angle down, uh, and I, I'm loving the footsies too. Not overextending at all. Looking for the EWGF and is not not gonna get it. It's gonna hit the shield, but it's gonna force him off stage. Oh, it's up close, but a nice roll away. This is, you're walking on, on needles, my friend. Yeah, definitely eggshells, but the back throw, catch up, just trying to find their way back uh -oh. in. Gonna be able to get all of the PK Thunder through, but now he's got Rage Drive and Lucas is, is small. So this could go one of two ways. So gonna be able to get the grab, oh, no! and that is so BSD! unfortunate. That is so sad. What do you do? I I I want to see just like a double fair. Hang on, hang on. Uh, now Omnilax has momentum, and you know what that means. Okay, but finally stifling that, putting a pot over, or putting a lid over that pot before it boils over. Omnilax gets their stock taken, and automatically there is a lead going into the next match here, Lou. Yeah, this is looking pretty scary, but now Ketchup already at 90%. Honestly, Omnilax would be able to do it with two stocks, I think, depending on who would be coming in. But now Ketchup, once again, just opting to take the the safe route, really. Honestly, safe. Uh, you can't play too safe against this character, Kazuya, but Omnilax is playing an amazing game, just playing super oh, patient. Oh, There's the stun into the up smash, oh. and Omnilax only drops one stock. It's three stocks to two. Stole his lunch money on that one. Oh. Yeah, again, one whiff in the face of Kazuya, and, oh, sorry, you're going for a ride. And at that take percent, you for a ride. In my big green tractor. <laughs> <laughs> oh Kazuya. my god, wait, the mix-up. <laughs> Kazuya, Kazuya's a farmer, right? Yeah. He, Apparently, yes? in canon, he's a sneakerhead. Really? That doesn't Yeah, but he doesn't wear shoes in this game. Or in his game. He doesn't game. wear shoes? Well, I mean, in his, uh... In his, his business suit skin, obviously, because, you, you know. But... He doesn't need shoes. Exactly, but if you're a sneakerhead, you, know, you, you might have something to show for it. That's what I think. Very true. All yeah, right, but well... anyway, anyway, still uh, only losing one stock. And positive net swing. But uh, now you have to go in against somebody who doesn't have the zoning or movement abilities, potentially, that Ketchup does with this Lucas. 
Yeah, so let's see who's going to be able to come in on this one. We know that Ketchup, Ketchup did an amazing job. Oh, yeah. Ooh, okay, so who did our friend here play last time? Was this the Palutena? No, this was the Wolf. This was the Wolf. Okay, so we are going to be seeing the Wolf come up, which I agree with here. But uh, this is so, so scary because both both schools are on their last player and FAU is down one stock. But it, it to me, it's still even, honestly. It's honestly, more than even. I honestly think yeah. that uh, <laughs> SUNY has uh, a deficit at this point, despite the fact that they have a lead. Follow that logic all you want, but if you saw the first set, you know how devastating <laughs> this dude could be with the Kazuya. I mean, Omnilax is... A cut above when it comes to playing this character online of all things yeah it's very very true all right well here we go once again we're just waiting on stage here hey, this is so scary once again i i'm looking at like all this data and just kazuya as a character has been so so dominant it's so interesting to see yeah i i really am excited to see this character rise through the meta as well because Unlike certain characters who are having a resurgence or at the very least a uh, play rate and win rate spike recently, Kazuya is just fun to watch. I just love gorilla characters, man. I just love a gorilla characters. characters? Is that yeah. what you just called it? Characters you could just jump in with, turn the brain <laughs> off, get one confirm and just devastate people with. It's why I like Leo in, in Guilty Gear. It's why I mm. like most joke characters in fighting games. It's why I like Kazuya in Smash Brothers Ultimate. Oh, so I actually just got a message from a, a person that I know uh, that goes to FAU. Uh -huh. uh, Layered, you don't know them, but they actually like kind of started. Uh, it's because you weren't around at that point. Uh, their name is Raishni. They play Peach. Oh, cool. So that's funny. We got some Bay representation. Uh, so that's cute. all over the place. Yeah, all over all the over country the at this point. Bay worldwide at this rate. Yep. We love it. We love to see it. I love to see it. Me too. I'm seeing all right. it all. Well, here we go. Just waiting once again for our players to make their choices, and then we're going to get started. Yep, it uh, is the wolf. <laughs> it is Supa. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, uh, Supa versus Omnilax. This is a run back. Uh, now, last time, you need to keep in mind that Supa had two stocks versus Omnilax three. three. Then again, one, Omnilax did not drop go. a single one to get rid of those two. But now, the, the script is flipped a little bit here. Omnilax yeah. is down run and Supa is ready to go. Yeah, this is this is gonna be kind of spooky here. So uh, honestly, a good on Supa for just jumping right in. Like, you know what? I have a job to do. I gotta get this Kazuya out of here. We gotta get to a game three as soon as possible. But now yeah. here he comes. The Nair, the the Nair, fantastically spaced. Yeah. Oh, but then again, <laughs> you get grabbed one time. <laughs> not gonna go for the. Not gonna Very. actually land the true uh, spike combos into more EWGFs. Actually, really yeah. good uh, DI and, and uh, ability to get out of it. Oh, and Ooh, going for the geez. command grab out of a jab combo, Lyric. Oh my god, just brutal. You know, you always expect for the Kazuya to go for the stuns at this point because it's the most guaranteed. But the grab, gonna send them out. Great avoid on the laser as well. Supa already looking really high percent, but so is Omnilax. To be fair, honestly, a back air might actually do it at the side of the stage with Wolf Rage. You know that's kind of what they're looking for. Yeah, but then again, speaking of Rage, <laughs> you got Rage Art on deck too. That's a kill confirm if it ever see one. And it'll do 40%. And even, I, I honestly, I feel like using it if you get rid of this stock is, is huge too, because that's an instant board percent on your opponent. Going for the Thunder Punch or whatever that, that Flash Punch. <laughs> I know it's, it's, it's Flash Punch. Spooky scary game. Or yes. spooky scary one. <laughs> the, the gentleman jab. Going for the, oh, not going to get the follow up though, Lyric. Yeah, very true. And now once again, it's just, who's going to commit first? Because honestly, oh, all yep, the there it is. Omnilax evens it up. Back oh! here though, to take the lead back from Supa. Oh my god, last stock here for Florida Atlantic at this point. This is so- it could go either way, Laird. Uh, uh oh, uh -oh. oh no! The That's a confirm! He gets Oh the... my god, he ran! Yeah. But it doesn't even matter, because Supa's gonna be able to get the crab out of him! Yes. Okay! Supa got his shield up just in time to survive that, and here's the fair train! Kazuya hates these! Yeah, for sure. Ooh, I like those attempts. A little brazen, but I like it. Yep, for sure. Here we go, though into the F tilt. This is looking so good for SUNY Polytech right now. 
Yep. Oh, 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 not gonna get the follow up. Going for the flash punch again. Not gonna happen though. Falling forward air. No percent though for Supa right now. One EWGF will probably take a stock here. But he runs Ooh, into the up runs smash. Right. Yeah, that's brutally bad. All right, Rage Drive has to come out at this point. Yep, okay, there it is. Stock for All sure. Right, guaranteed. 110%. What can Kazuya Mishima do? Win. Lair, do you believe in uh, miracles? I, this wouldn't be a miracle, Lyric. This is destiny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nair finds, doesn't find the back air though. This is looking so close. Oh, oh my, my god. <laughs> Supa's mashing right now. Supa just wants to deal any damage they can. Reads a rollback. Up smash. Not going to kill Great DI. Looking for the up air. The jackal up air. Not going to connect. Yeah, this is honestly, I, I feel like Supa's kind of stuck in the air there. Going oh. for the grab. Here we go. Oh, okay, not get a nothing. Up on it. Yeah, no. Honestly, this air camp that Super is doing is like so 100% needed. Yeah. Going for the Nair. Okay, here's Omnilax on ledge. What are they going to do? You know, you know what Super's looking for. But down throw is going to be the option. Goes okay. for the laser, air dodge through. Going to be able to recover. A little early on the up tilt. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh God. Tries to Layered, bring an air scared. dodge back. I am scared too. This is kill percent lyric. Yeah, for both, for both characters. Yeah. <laughs> That's Ooh, Jack! Okay, it's gonna I kill! Oh. We're in third set! Oh my god. Oh my god. A lot of Oh, and the trash talk coming in too. Okay, oh went three god. for three did Omnilax there, but Supa played that so well all the way till the end, man. Ouch. Oh yeah. my god. This, this is a long set. This is definitely a long set. Deservedly oh so. My... I think this set yeah. deserves to go into overtime. Oh, for sure. I, I feel like Ketchup coming in was like the best call. The best call. Because it really saved them in a way. So Man. let's see how this one's going to go. We're going right back. 1-1 one, one. next. <laughs> let's get it going, boys. Uh, we're trailing a little bit. The gameplay is not slow. It's just the, no. the decision making here is very calculated. So we, We've had more time in between sets than actual games, I think. Not to call anybody yeah. out or anything. No, you're right. No, 100% <laughs> call them out. Make it. Tios hate Let's... these guys. Tio. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. We have all fun right. Here. Well, all right. Let's put up a little mental timer. So right now it's 10:54 our time. What yes. time do you think we're gonna start this next? 10:59 <laughs> and 30 seconds. Ooh, a whole five minutes. <laughs> I'm saying 11. I'm gonna give them the six. Oh, you're gonna um, give them the six? Okay, okay. So, so I'm gonna give them I, the six. I, I'm the under. You're the over. Yeah, I want them to start with the Kazuya. I want FAU I to start with the Kazuya. No, I no, him, I, I do. I, I want do. him to be in the middle. I want him to be the middle man. You, you think honestly, a lot of teams have been putting the strongest player in the middle. Yeah. Um. Yeah, true. I mean, that 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 is where uh, Ketchup was last time as well, and it worked out yeah. tremendously. But, um, you know, leading the Kazuya, yeah, I'm starting to think about it. And lead the Kazuya. It might give lead the Kazuya. It might give uh, Florida Atlantic University the opportunity they need. So we're just waiting to see who the characters are going to be selected. Will be. I'm interested. I'm interested because you know this could very well be the make or break here. They, if they lead Kedjub, that could be huge. If maybe Arsenic comes in and they're not quite ready for it, if we see uh, Omnilax come in and the opposing team's not ready for it, that's that's you know a knife through hot butter if I've ever seen yeah. one. So I feel like Ketchup could be the anchor. I, I feel, feel like, like he Ketchup could be too. As, yeah. I, I feel like Ketchup as the anchor would be the safest way to go here. I, but I actually feel like starting the Kazuya would be the best way to go here too. Right. Because you get as many stocks up as possible. And you kind of, if you start the Kazuya, right? But they're not going to. They're going to once again start with Arsenic. Right. My, I'll I'll talk through my my logic here on this one. You start Maybe. through the Kazuya, right? Um, if they double blind, right? And they have no idea who's coming in. They could potentially send in the link, right? Yeah. They'll, they'll send in the link again, but... You know, then at that point you would have to force Ketchup out because I actually feel like uh, it's kind of like a match between Omnilax and and Ketchup in terms yeah. of like the best players on both teams. So you kind of have to like force the other person's hand. But we are going to get Arsenic first, who has right. done a very good job as the the lead the entire day. So I'm not necessarily disappointed by it. So yeah. yeah. And apparently we're seeing J2G coming in from Ooh, SUNY. Yeah, so holding out on us, bringing in a 
our player with a different character that we haven't seen yet in the last set to lead into Arsenic. And you know, honestly, Arsenic, very, very consistent lead. Has, has gotten four stocks off of the opponent consistently and has, you know, allowed allowed the team to at least, you know, have a good start and get them counter pick advantage. He usually wins the first yeah. match. For sure, for sure. All right, so J2G, I don't think we've seen who they play. So when Desperate Times called for desperate measures, let me jump into the handy dandy notebook of uh, the way that we stalk players in this world. And uh, <laughs> I've heard of J2G, J2G. I, don't, I just can't quite put my finger on where. So I'm not seeing a character. I'm not uh -oh. seeing a character on uh, on Smash Data. That's so scary. that's when we go to PG stats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a snake. Oh. This is scary because Joker likes to jump on top of you, Lyric. But then again, it's oh, also scary yeah. because Rebels guarding um, grenades is very good. I hate Snake. Can I just be the one to say, can I say that? I okay, hate Indiana, yeah. Indiana Jones. I'm the one in Indiana right now, Lyric. <laughs> well, I actually feel like this is a great matchup for Joker. You can absorb all of the grenades um, and get a lot of meter off of it. And so far, uh, I feel like J2G's uh, positioning has been pretty good on the grenades. It's just that they've been blowing themselves up a little bit. Good up tilt though, but here comes Arsene very, very shortly. The thing is, uh, J2G playing the Snake. Snake's one of the heavier characters in the game, Lyric. And, you know, ha them having grenades to trade into opponents with is one of their core gameplay mechanics. They, they use it for movement. They use it to, you know, d take damage at the same time as their opponents to create combos. And frankly, right now, he's using it to take up space and pin our Snake into the corner. Yeah, very true, for sure. Here we go, though. Aegon is going to come out. They're pretty even in terms of percent right now. I love the spot dodge to punish, but they ended up down airing the grenade and not the player can't find the up air either has a grenade in hand going to just opt to take the shield damage here but here comes back air needs to get a stock right now but good on j2g Ed. going high but it doesn't matter it's all red yeah i, I think the big thing here later is that you know while the uh, grenades provided an opportunity to get arsene back when arsene's out edge guarding snake becomes easier and also way more deadly and snake's recovery not the best in the game. It, it, it covers a lot of distance. He has super armor on some of the weaker hits that he might sustain. And you can cancel uh, and get rid of Cypher for a little bit of mix-up potential. But other than that, it has no hitbox on it, so you can get edge guarded quite easily. Yeah, for sure. Here we go, though. J2G just trying to find a way back in, but Arsenic completely content with hanging out underneath the platforms away, uh, away from all danger possible. Here we go, though. Back here, not going to be able to take anything. Arsenic's just dashing in and out and like, all right, what are you gonna do? You gotta swing at me, old man? Come on, bring it. I like it. And that time he actually got on the receiving end of the swing and <laughs> that's what you want to avoid, Larry. Yeah, that, that time he, he did it for sure. Uh, C4 not gonna be able to blow up here, but stocks are even. Here comes the damage uh -oh. though, 25% off of just grenades. Okay, no tech equals easy fast pickup. The grappling <laughs> hook even doing some damage as well. So. I feel like Arsenic's very, very comfortable right now. Yeah, Arsenic, you know, not playing too far ahead. We, we know that they love to do this. And they they, can't, they interrupted the uh, C4 before it was able to blow up, which would have been a, a good 20% and a nice trap there from uh, J2G. But right now, J2G, they have stage control. They have their opponent at ledge, but a nice jump high for Arsenic. It's going to push them back towards center. Right now, both these guys are, are trying not to take any hits, but the grenades that are coming out are going to allow the percentage window to climb up to the percent where drag down up smash is a true combo. All right, here we go, though. Honestly, Arsenic looking super healthy on their first stock here. I mean, Arsene meter, it's just all about how quickly they want to stack up damage. Good roll in, though, by J2G, giving them the stage advantage at this point. Gonna drop a couple grenades, but it doesn't even seem Ooh. to matter. The down air up smash looking brutal. Not gonna be able to do, you know, any damage that will KO, but honestly, the mental damage on that one, that kind of stings. Yeah, I mean, a lot of mental damage, damage lyric, and also a good amount of regular damage. That was a good yeah. for about about 45% there. That uh, stop it. To, oh, oh. missed the ledge, and that is a two stock yeah, lead for right. Florida Atlantic. More like Florida Arsenic going forward here. That was a terrible joke. Okay. I've been thinking about making it all set, and I kind of wish I didn't. And now I'm really upset that you did. All right, well, <laughs>
Ah, all right. Well, here we go. We are moving on to the next player. Who's coming out for SUNY? Who do you think? Um, Is it the Wolf? I think so. I, I think you want to keep ketchup. You think ketchup, ketchup is the anchor this time, which I agree ketchup. with. I, I think it is too. I mean, obviously you want your, your heavy hitter in the middle um, in, in some instances. I don't think this is necessarily the one. You want to save, and, and also, honestly, it's not necessarily the fact that he's going to be taking the anchor position. It's the fact that he was one of the only people to actually have uh, a decent time dealing with the uh, dealing with the Kazia, you know? So having him to pair into the Kazia might give his teammates a little bit more breathing room. So... We will see who it's going to be. Uh, Omnilax is obviously chilling out in the back, but we, we're not going to let that discount the other swingers, including Arsenic, that uh, we have here at FAU. Yeah, honestly, uh, Ars this is Arsenic's best game as um, lead so far. They're going to be sending out Supa, but Arsenic actually up two stocks is pretty, pretty significant for FAU right now. Yeah. I don't know who to give the edge to, man. Uh, obviously, the team with the lead is is the one that you want to think, okay, you know, they might win this. But, I mean, that really hasn't been the case for a lot of our sets this evening. We've seen yeah. a lot of comebacks uh, to net into wins. Interesting. I feel like, uh, I feel like stage here is going to be kind of the telltale of what's going to happen. I feel like... We have not, we've seen a pretty decent amount of all of our stages. I, I feel like starting out tonight, it was just PS2. And then we saw like a little bit of like Smashville and Hollow Bastion. And uh, honestly, I would like to see a little bit more FD here come out. Uh, I would too. I mean, against against Joker though, do you, do you really think that's a good idea? I mean, that dash attack is a really good option to clear the ground. I don't know. I, I feel like the way that Supra is playing, it it's it, it's a lot of nair in, right? And they're doing a pretty good job of closing the space. And I feel like if you're going up against somebody who you don't want to kind of just like run around and, you know, like just avoid you the entire time, I feel like taking away your options of running around is the best bet. But once again, I don't know. So we'll see. I feel like FD is a good pick here um, just yeah. in terms of like characters. But once again, it's all about comfort. It is too. I mean, you do lose the ability to get platform extensions, but uh, Arsenic also loses the ability to hide away from you underneath those platforms in Shark, which is something that we've seen them do very frequently uh, against all manners of opponents. So uh, let's get, we're going to see what the pick is. Probably, Drum roll, probably. please. Battlefield. No, small battlefield. Interesting. Eh, yeah, I mean. We do know that we do know that Arsenic likes to hide out under these platforms. The biplanets are very easy to do that on. So yeah. we're gonna see how this works out. But then again, the platform extensions that you can get uh, with Wolf on this stage, pretty good. I think Suba has a decent pick here. Yeah. And speaking of decent, oh my God! Just once again, well, we've seen this like very interesting like hot cold play style come out from Arsenic literally right. all day. It's like. He'll, he'll play it a little bit more passively, and then, like, starting out, he'll be like, all right, yeah, 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 I'm up, I'm up. Like, let me let me get ahead. But the Nair in grab solid from Supa right now. Yep. Again, it's very easy to get tech chases with that Nair from Wolf. And Wolf doesn't have the, the most mobility in the game, but, you know, not a very inconsequential amount. And I love that reverse forward air uh, to get a little bit of extra damage on the board. And honestly, a second ago, Arsenic had a pretty confirmed lead, and Arsene... Arsene has been wasted away, and the lead has diminished to, like, a 30% deficit for that. Yeah, very, very true. So, here we go, though. Great grab, though, coming in by Supra. Supra has been playing well all day. F-Tilt not going to be able yeah. to take it. He could very well be the anchor uh, in, in any situation, and I'd say, you know, yeah, he did a good job anchoring last time, but having him in the middle means he is a killer for Florida Atlantic right now. Yep, for sure. Oh, up smash, I'm barely whiffing hit. there, but oh, oh no, messing up of the combos. Oh, that's so unfortunate because that up smash coming out on Arsenic side was so guaranteed. You have no idea and the, the whiff there. That's brutal. And yeah, honestly, the, that was that stock was Arsenic's 100%. It was. The net swing in that situation there is super crucial because now you're down on your last stock. Meanwhile, you could have been on your first stock still. 
with your opponent on their second. Yeah. So, you know, the net swing's brutal. And, you know, we're going to see if Arsenic can try to take one away, give his team a, a lead going into the next match. But, you know, if Super's been playing at the caliber that they have, which I assume they might, you could be seeing uh, a situation where they go into... Well, I was going to say that they could go into the game with three stocks, but... Uh, nope, nice back air from Arsenic at center stage with Arsene active. Take that stock away. Yeah, definitely a really, really solid... Uh, like game from arsenic at this point and now honestly all they need to do honestly the extra credit here would just get one more right you always want to just get at least one more for your team here and so far by the way that they're playing i can totally see it but once again super has been playing super well as well and it's it's just it, it's so close you know what he's looking for he's looking for the back air at this point yeah i mean at ledge will probably kill it probably won't kill from center and honestly, I feel like we're just trying to see Arsenic hang out on these platforms, try to get as much damage as he can so that when Arsene comes out, if Arsene comes out, which he is here now, uh, the kill will be much easier to sustain. And he could maybe even give his team a two stock lead as opposed to just one. Yeah, once again, that's so important in terms of crew battle because you want to get as much high up as possible. All right, here we go. Trades no. are going to come in. Arsene is Good still here for at least like a couple more seconds, honestly. This is so yeah. doable. Uh, is he gonna try to rush it? No, he's not. He's just gonna hang out in shields like, okay, you know what? I, Arsen did its work. Did, did a good amount of percentage. Not gonna take a stock just yet. I would like to see maybe a potential edge guard uh, to cheese out a stock away from Supa, from Arsenic, if he could put himself in a position like that. But Supa's been doing a good job of mixing up high recoveries and, and not putting himself in too many vulnerable positions off stage. Yep. Very, very true. I totally agree. Here we go. Okay. Back throw. Not gonna, not gonna be able to KO. Yeah, not quite there. A little bit more center stage than probably what uh, Super was hoping for. Ooh, okay, going for the Wait. cheesy oh. back air hit. Not going to be able to find it. Oh. <laughs> the, little rolls, the little synchronized rolls into center stage. When in doubt, reset neutral, nice. but F-Tilt really 100%. Good play. Yeah, yeah F-Tilt's going to take that easy. Yeah, I, I love that Super was like, okay, he's going to be aggressive here. He's got Arsene back. He thinks I'm close enough to let you get hit by backer. I'm just going to stay back, wait for him to whiff. And I got my uh, angle down F cell to deal the job for me. Good stuff. Good heads up play there. And it nets our man a one stock deficit as opposed to a two stock deficit, uh, cutting off Arsenic at four stocks. Yep. 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 All right. Well, stopping the bleeding as fast as possible. I feel like this has also been like an unfortunate characteristic of uh, Arsenic all day is that they're so close to getting that second stock. And it's yeah. just not coming out. But once again, a really great lead. So I'm wondering who we are going to be seeing next coming out from the FAU team. Uh, who do we see before? Before, of course, the Kazuya Mishima uh, that, you know, we're just kind of waiting in the wings for. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm I mean, forgetting who it was. I don't think Kazuya is a bad play here. Because, really? yeah, I don't. I, I think putting Kazuya here is a good situation. Because we, we saw Super win last time when they had an advantage. But when... Um, when uh, Omnilax had the advantage last time, uh, when these two m met, he was able to take two stocks away without even dropping a single one, yeah. which could could be putting himself in a position for a six to three stock situation where FAU is heavily favored going into the last player. And then the way I see it, if you bring him in now, you're going to have to deal with the uh, counter pick from Ketchup eventually. You might as well get rid of another character on your warpath in there. Yeah, I totally agree. Um, and plus you have the Palo in the back, which is a good matchup. Yep. So Very, very true. I, I don't see a reason to not bring an Omnilax right here. Yep. All right. Well, once again, Omnilax potentially could be going in. Who else was the last character on their, on their roster? It was... Um, it was uh, Hazard. Hazard. It was Hazard. Link. Hazard the Link. That might be the play here, but I actually feel like, once again, it'd be a it little should bit be safer. It, it should be ketchup. Yeah. Well, let's see. Um, yeah. I mean, obviously, obviously, Supa's in. They have five stocks left. Uh, so. Omnilax coming in. Coming okay, in. here we go. Yeah. <laughs> here we go. Yep. Five stocks, right? Uh, he took five. Yeah, he took five stocks without dropping one last and time. And there's five stocks left, right? <laughs> yeah, yep. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So... We could be seeing the beginning of the end right here. Then again, I do feel like Suba or Supa incredibly adapted last time these two played. Um, 
Granted, they had an advantage in terms of stocks, so they had a they had a stock to give. Mm -hmm. But in all fairness, he really laid the haymakers down. I I, yeah. I mean, you know, it was super close right at the very end, but did a very good job of uh, trying to edge out uh, his opponent here. And it is going to be Omnilax coming in. Stage pick is remaining to be seen. I'm expecting probably a uh, FD or a Kalos potentially. Uh, wouldn't be surprised to see a Smash Bros. Hall Bash, but it is going to be Town and City Lyric. So all four stages that you said are not correct, and we are going to Town. Shut up! Uh, <laughs> <sighs> all right, well, here we go. One Kazuya Mishima uh, here, and honestly, I'm interested to see how Supra is going to play this, because we can already see that they're already playing more passive than they were versus our friend Arsenic, so... Mm -hmm. uh, honestly, it's all about play styles here. Definitely. I mean, and you, you saw how slow Omnilax played the last time these two played. You know, they, they recognize that their opponent is just going to want to get a straight fair oh, into these no. shenanigans. But then again, one opener and 75% off of one interaction there. Yeah. I, I mean, it's brutal, but here comes Supra trying to find their way in. I love the up out of shield just to say, hey, get off me. It's not going to KO just quite yet, but it's just like a, it's a nice little like up close spacing move saying, hey, you know what? I'm, uh, I, I don't feel too confident. The dash attack though. Here we go. It's uh, Kazuya here trying to find the, the backer. Not going to be able to find it. By the way, the up has kill power lyric and it also does 20%. So I, I don't think you, I don't think not using it is is a good idea. I think using it's a very strong idea, and yeah. it definitely is like okay, you know, you're gonna need to be very careful against oh. me. Nice reflection, twenty <laughs> percent, making that kill whenever it comes a little bit more guaranteed than it was before. Yeah, and there it is. Rage yep. drive. The back tilt. Oh my God! Now you have angry Kazuya with rage drive. You are a yeah. wolf at zero percent. Oh. <laughs> oh God! With no platforms to help you out either. This is terrifying. Yep. Okay, oh, gets the first punch. couple hits. Yeah, he gets the first couple hits, and then he's just like, yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Ooh, I was up gonna say, smash. Yep. I was about to say, one laser away uh, got rid of the rage art, and uh, for some reason, Omnilax, I think, was just you know, a little unaware of uh, how close they were to Wolf. You're inside the threat range of that up smash and was able to take the stock. But then again, Omnilax, you know, they, they are at five stocks, two, four. Uh, in, in the lead right now. Yep, there's a Nair into... Oh, gets him again. Looking for a reset on the platform. Gets it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> and, uh... Uh-oh. Ouch. <laughs> Five stocks to three right now, Lyric. And it seems like so... Ketchup might be the last Bastion here for SUNY. <laughs> it just all happened so fast. <laughs> Wow. I, I just laugh. I just laugh because every every DLC character that has been added into this game is so goofy. Just so goofy and just so funny. So honestly, I think it's going to be a ketchup coming in. Uh, if it's not ketchup, uh, I'm very curious to see who it's going to be. Uh, but once again, Omnilax is coming in, showing what Kazuya can do. Uh, hey, Laird. Do you think Kazuya should be banned? I don't no. think he should be banned. I don't he's, think so. He's too funny. He's too funny, I, I think. I have too much fun watching him for him to be legally banned. If somebody... Yeah. If, if he actually gets banned, I'm gonna throw hands because... especially no, with if, who? <laughs> somebody. Gimmer. Bring it on, Gimmer. <laughs> funny. Yeah. <sighs> All I would, right. Well, I would say I would say I would say cacked, but um, he's got last on security, and last is not somebody you want to trifle with. Oh, that's right. Last is like he's a, he's a, a Taekwondo professional or belt. something like that. Yeah, and oh, also yeah. also he rock climbs and has uh, an incredibly mm. strong sense of uh, weak points. Like, similar to Kazuya, he can end a fight quicker than you start one. It's very true. Well, Ketchup is going to be the last player on SUNY Polytech side. Now has to pull what um, Omnilax did in the game one, which feels like five hours ago. Yeah. Of taking five stocks. I've aged incredibly fast in that time frame. Yeah, it's very, very true. I'm almost 30, and uh, that means 4C Sports retirement, so this better go quick. Oh, God. There's plenty of people post-30 doing the eSports thing. Just, you know, know, some of them are not in front of the camera. Um, <laughs> but let's see how this one's going to go. Once again, it, it's going to be catch-up. Where do you think we're going in terms of stage? In terms of stage... I mean, FD. Well, then again, this is Ketchup's pick. I think you want to see if you can go to Triplats. You know, I'm sure mm. th there's not a lot of space, but 
Um, you have good uh, maneuverability around those platforms. And uh, I feel like flat stages are not something you want to take Kazuya to because last time we saw how effective the angled down lasers were at, at dealing with the the zoning that we uh, saw Ketchup employing. And frankly, Lyric, I think you kind of want as much uh, verticality as you possibly can because Kazuya is not very good at chasing on triplats. Yeah, honestly, I can totally agree. I do feel like the platforms are going to save you too, especially um, it gives Ketchup a way to kind of trap Omnilax in the corner, right? So uh, platforms kind of limit where you can technically go. So I, I feel like if you have Kazuya underneath the platform, it's either he jumps and gets fared or zared, or he gets rolled he rolls and then gets PK fired. Like, I, I feel like plats are a really good way to go. Yeah, the more the better. I mean, and I definitely don't want to see a Hall of Bastion or a... No. Or a no. special. They are too small. No. <laughs> Those stages are too small. No. No, no, no. I think Town's good. No, no, no. I can see Town. Yeah, I think Town would work well. Um, I can imagine that uh, Omnilax is going to ban it, though. I, I would. I wouldn't be shocked. Okay, here we go. We're going into it right now. This could be the last match of the set, unless Ketchup has something to say about it. We're going to Kalos, flat stage. Don't necessarily like it here, oh, but no. I mean, there's there is some space for him to ha hide out in there. Let's 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 you know give him the benefit of the doubt here. Yeah, it's very true. Well, all gonna be about this laser, oh, and honestly, oh. already two, two <laughs> lasers in, and they both have connected, and no PK fires in. Reminder, Ketchup is the last player for SUNY Polytech here. Honestly, I love what Omnilax is doing. They're essentially lining up the same timing as uh, Ketchup is throwing out PK Fire as well. So it's essentially going further. It's leaving Lucas in a lot more end lag. So things are working out pretty well so far. But how how do you get in? Both sides, how do you get in at this point? But here comes the first throw. Yeah, I mean, uh, then again, one straight opening for either of these characters, you could see a long-winded combo going on. Obviously, we know what they do about Kazuya, and there's the opener into the backer of the platform. 88% <laughs> there. Oh my god, brutal. Back air, though. Or back, back throw, I should say. Excuse me. And then once again, I just love these run-ups from, from Omnilax. Omnilax is just like, you know what, you're gonna push yourself with the Oh, corner! there's a reflector, yep, double damage, double knockback. That's dead at a hundred, or actually almost 90, Lyric. 80, yeah, that was dead at death at 80. Oh All my right. god. And now Omnilax just, <laughs> it's so scary, it's even stocks, but there's a whole nother player waiting in the wings, but yeah. here's the fair, it, the Zare trying to find for the ketchup. Uh -oh. It has to be so careful right now. Rage Drive is so, is so close to being here, it's about to come out. Yep. PK Free is gonna come out, great extra jump though, coming out from Omnilax saying, you know what, I want no part of that, because that would KO easily. Yep. And these lasers dealing so oh much shit damage. God. Another 20 to the face of Ketchup. Okay, Ooh, here okay, it is. Back, girl. Rage Drive. It's probably not going to kill. Kalos is a very vertical stage, a high blast zone. It'll probably kill now, uh, depending on how close to the edge you are. What? Oh my god. Oh, what is going on? That is death for sure. Uh -oh. oh my god. Ketchup, ketchup on their last stock has to get through one, but oh, no, it's no. Rage <laughs> Not my boy. <laughs> Yeah, this is horrifying. Okay, Electric Wing Godfist not gonna connect here. Here we go though, Ketchup just has to find a way to get the stock. Okay, neutral tech into the kick. Not gonna be able to see anything else though. It, the, the neutral's so tight layered. Okay, yeah. the oh, stock- Oh, there it is. Oh, but actually, oh man. A little bit too high of a percent for uh, the ground grab. Uh, actually gonna be bouncing off the ground because of the trajectory of that spike there. Oh, yeah. uh oh. He can make that back though. Oh, yep. for sure. So what is double Great jump too? The extra jump. Yeah, the, the double jump looking on, on point. Up throw, yeah. All okay, right. Ketchup's last hand, <laughs> last stock. I can, I can hear their heartbeat all the way from where I'm sitting there. But here's the thing, it's He's not even- <laughs> That did, that's a 30% Lyric. He was at 88 and he got up to 114. That did like, let me do some quick maths, 26%. And one Florida Atlantic, a spot into semifinals, where they will be playing against our winners from earlier in GSU. So a battle of Florida versus Georgia going on next round. A tale as old as time, Lyric, but 
you seem like you want to talk about that last interaction. You look like you want to. He just got down from the angel platform and just knew that he was gonna he was gonna PK fire. Just reflected it, and that was it. Right. <laughs> After I once again, I feel like we spent so much of this match waiting for the game to start and not actually in the match. Yeah. <laughs> very um, very quick, but oh my god, I, that is the second time Omnilax just took five stars yeah. and was just like don't worry about it guys only dropped one that it. time only dropped one that time. yeah that's or true no, he only uh, dropped one. no he dropped two he dropped two he lost yeah, one he two. two i'm sorry yeah <laughs> my math sucks well waiting on whether we're gonna go to an interview we are or not. not i wouldn't be um, very we're true I, I looked um, at it. <laughs> okay for sure totally fine well yes. but that's... uh that wraps it up for us tonight lyric yeah where can they find you laird on Twitter at Laird Casting, and I do a bunch of commentary stuff similar to this. I'm looking to do more collegiate stuff, uh, and also I just like to hang out and have a good time, uh, that sort of thing. But Lyric, the hardest working woman in esports, where can the people at home find you? Y'all can also find me on Twitter. <laughs> um, uh, but more importantly, what you can find tomorrow here on Esports U2 is the ECAC Valorant quarters. And then you'll be able to find the CECC Mid-Atlantic uh, finals or quarters or semis as well. One of them on the main channel, Esports U. But thank you so much for having us. Honestly, it was a long night, but it was fun, Laird. It's always, always a good fun. time casting with you. Yeah, Always a good time was... casting with you. Always a good time casting uh, such talented individuals who deserve their time in the spotlight and are only going to be getting more as these weeks continue. Semifinals will be coming back uh, eventually. So get ready to watch some Dynamite sets when the, these two teams meet in the next round. It's going to be fireworks. Yep, and we'll see you next time. Bye. on connect here no stock taken quite yet though because the big link as i like to call him is rather heavy compared to its counterpart so he is going to Ooh. die though to the those are deadly right now but honestly i feel like they're playing very awkward and neutral uh, it seems like they're, they're not able to find a lot of very good strings or openings or anything in general Really good job of making Arsenic uncomfortable, but going for the F tilt, they're not going to be able to find anything though. No. Just trying to find their way in. Ooh, okay. Oh, Did yeah. Able to find the thing is, it's all for naught unless you can take the stock, and Arsene is nearly here, the big angry man. I like the solo stage too because, yep, Arsenic knew exactly what was coming out. Get the downer stop into the up air. And with that rage and the side B to catch, he's looking for another one there. Uh, <laughs> up B to get back, but actually gonna fade away at tilt not gonna connect either. A lot of flubs here in this in this lead situation, situation. And it is going to be Arsenic who uh, you know breaks through a little bit here, has a three stock lead for his team here. Yeah, things are looking pretty good now. Here's gonna KO. taking control of everything, just jumping around, not really giving Kazuya a plain line of sight of where they're going to go, but here comes the first sun into the- And he goes for the grab, rising corner as well, and the up air as well, catches him in the corner, goes with a full charge, maybe a little bit unwarranted there, but again, you're feeling yourself as Kazuya, your opponent is in a bad situation, uh oh, he gets it, that's it, grab- Well, just because, honestly, you're going to have to kind of give up something, whether it be, uh, you know, stage advantage. But oh my god! Because of this, he's dead. No way, no way! Right now, oh dead. my god! Yeah, I mean, once again, this is what I was talking about. Why, unfortunately, I don't think this is a good matchup for uh, Palestine. Because you're dead. Oh, yeah! Oh, the It's looking really scary, especially that shield. Yeah, the spinning shield is really good. Splinter shield is really good. Splinter shield is really As Rage are on deck right now, Lyric. And you know what that means? One grab and it's over. Make all the attacks ludicrous and powerful, and also the lot of people that are really important. Double wall. Yeah, uh, honestly, Play Green is always looking good Ooh. play. What are you going to do about it now? Very funny. A lot of personality in that grab lyric. Very true. Here we go, though. Hazard has our on the ledge at this point. 112, the bomb, not going to be able to come back to the point to avoid literally every attack he gives Arsenic some, some rage meter to go with. That's so funny when you think about it. But our set is coming online, and uh, I mean, Hazard's already at 130%. This is not looking good for Polytech until.
to come out at this point. Yep, okay, this is stock for sure. A little early on the up tilt. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh God. Tries to Layered, bring an I'm air scared. dash back. I'm scared too. This is kill percent lyric. Yeah, for, for both for bo characters. Yeah. <laughs> that Jack is going to kill. Oh. We're going to third set. Oh, boy. It's to get a stock right now, but good on J2G Ed. going high, but it doesn't matter. It's all red. Yeah, I, I think the big thing here, lyric is that, you know, while the uh, grenades... Anything. Our snake's just dashing in and out and like, all right, what are you gonna do? You gonna swing at me, old man? Come on, bring it. I like it. And that time he actually got on the receiving end of this. Our snake gonna push them back towards center. Right now, both these guys are are trying not to take any hits, but the grenades that are coming out are gonna allow the percentage of mental damage, damage lyric, and also a good amount of regular damage. That was a good yeah. for about about 45 percent there. At, uh, stop it. Oh, oh. miss the ledge and. Oh, up smash, I'm barely whipping hit. there, but oh, oh no, messing up whips. the combo! Oh, that's so unfortunate because that up smash. Hey, this is a, a lead going into the next match, but you know, if Super's been playing at the caliber that they have, which I assume they might, could be seeing uh, a situation where they be able to find it. <laughs> the oh. little rolls, the little synchronized rolls, which is on stage when it's out, reset neutral, nice. but that's still really 100%. good play. Yeah. Yeah, that's all. definitely is like, okay, you know, you're gonna be very careful against oh. you. Nice reflection, 20%, <laughs> making that kill whatever it comes, a little bit more guaranteed than it was before. And there it is, yeah. Oh, okay, oh, he gets the first couple hits. Yeah, he gets the first couple hits, and then he's just like, yeah, okay. Ooh, I was gonna say, two, four. Right now, yep, there's a nair into oh, gets him again. But for a reset on platform, gets it. Oh, my God. We're back, we're back throw. I can say, excuse me. And then once again, I just love these run ups from, from Omnilax. Omnilax is just like, you know what, you're gonna push yourself. But oh, there's it's a very vertical stage, a high blast zone. It'll probably kill now, uh, depending on how close to the edge you are. What? Oh my god. What is going on? That is death for sure. Uh -oh. oh my god. 